Hello everyone, um, I'm Francis Ely from Enfield Climate Action Forum and here we're doing a very short interview with Luke Bolnave. Now Luke has developed a project called the Family Bike Club and Library and we're going to ask him about that because that's really important when we're trying to encourage people to get involved in active travel and not everyone can and in a time of climate change of course reducing the carbon emissions of car travel is really important. So Luke, thank you for coming on what is very early in the morning and um, maybe you can just tell us first of all a little about yourself and your interest in active travel. Yeah, um, thanks for having me on firstly, Francis. And yeah, definitely um, good to do uh, early in the morning, I think. Um, yeah, so I've always been interested in kind of active travel uh, for local journeys in terms of, you know, just seeing it as um, seeing the sort of congestion that's sort of built up uh, increasingly locally and uh, wanting to kind of do something about that. Uh, for the benefit of sort of everyone in terms of public realm and people sort of enjoying their local spaces, first and foremost. Um, and it just so happens that the sort of side benefit of that is kind of, you know, a climate sort of uh, benefit and, and sort of air quality benefit, health benefit from sort of active travel uh, routes. Um, so that's where my interest comes from. Um, you know, I, I cycle around the local area. I appreciate not everyone can. But, you know, I enjoy um, all those aspects uh, via, via that sort of mode of transport. OK, so you're interested in encouraging active travel and clearly, you know, increasing numbers of people are beginning to use bikes. But often not everyone can and families very often find it difficult to get involved because of the cost and the different types of bikes. And as kids grow up, the, the size of the bike they need is different. Is that been a problem that you are trying to address? Yes, so exactly that. You sort of hit the nail on the head. Um, yes, to I know from ex experience with my children that, um, you know, that uh, the sort of sizing requirements, everything you go through in terms of their sort of different phases of growing up, that it is a sort of extremely sort of uh, costly process in terms of if you want to sort of go down that route. It's, you, you know, it's different to just getting a car where you can, you know, change, uh, change the sort of internal seats and, but more or less you can carry on. You might sort of expand the size of your car or something like that. But, you know, um, from the active travel point of view, it can be a costly process, especially if you're not sort of 100% convinced that it uh, will work for you as a family, which is, you know, you have to, it is a big leap of faith, to be fair. Um, so I'm trying to sort of solve that issue in terms of firstly providing a sort of stepping stone into it and seeing if it can work for people's families um, and if we can find the right sort of setup for them um, because it, it, you know not everyone's requirements are different so it will require you know you um, it will require sort of uh, a very tailored approach and that's what I'm trying to do in terms of uh, sort of a wide offering um, and hopefully through that through people sort of trying different sort of setups be able to find something that works for them and their family even if it's not for all their journeys if it's just for sort of, um, you know, uh, weekend activities and things like that, even, you know, just finding a starting point that they can sort of enjoy um, with uh, them, uh, themselves as a family, I think, you know, that's what I'm hoping to provide. So you've set out what you call the Family Bike Club and Library. Um, yeah. So, you know, what, what would that do? How would it actually work? Yeah, so um, it, it's essentially a sort of a library of, of all sort of different, a raft of different uh, family sort of equipment um, that can either be sort of added onto your existing, if you have any existing cycling equipment, or, you know, uh, be able to provide that sort of uh, starting point as a whole um, in terms of if you don't have anything. Um, so it could be anything from sort of a child trailer that could sort of attach onto your existing bike if you have one, and a child seat, or, or even from the whole kind of setup whereby I'm hoping to provide some sort of uh, family, but some basic sort of family cargo where people can literally sort of get on it with their uh, small children and sort of uh, take off, hire it and see if it works for them. 
So where will it be based and uh, will it be sort of roving as well? Would it be what, sorry? Roving, will you be able to take it around? Yeah, so um, we, we've been very fortunate in terms of being offered, a, a per, in my view, an absolutely perfect space, um, which is at Enfield Chase train station, a sort of uh, previously vacant disused uh, unit um, that we're hoping to spruce up um, and stock out with uh, all these various things. And, you know, I think that's a perfect location in terms of being people being able to get to it via public transport or buses. It's quite centrally located. Um, and so hopefully be able to access it quite easily. Um, and yes, we are planning on um, not just being stationed there and getting out into the sort of community and uh, hopefully joining in on any sort of um, big sort of festivals going on and, and you know, spreading the word. Okay, and um, you, you're going to sort of act as a library, sure. But you also yeah. plan to do sort of group activities, don't you? Um, like trips and so on. I mean, what have you planned in that way? Yeah, so um, it's uh, this is the big ambition in terms of not just acting as a, you know, a, a sort of repository for or a depository for equipment, but actually being much more powerful in, in that via um hopefully sort of really delivering a sort of community um asset and a sort of community feel whereby um it's it's more empowering than that in that you're part of a sort of a local community um that you can come to and get sort of confidence and competence from in uh in sort of cycling uh realm whereby you know if you're not you know you're if you're not a sort of a regular cyclist already, you can come uh, get advice, um, get some uh, cycle, cycling proficiency training because, you know, cycling with your family, with small ones on your bike is actually, it requires different, you know, it, it, it's not as straightforward as being on an ordinary bike. So, you know, it does take some time to build up your confidence on that front. So we're going to deliver some cy cycling proficiency um and sorry yeah also uh guided rides you know led rides things like that that help people feel part of something because cycling uh in sort of uh if you don't know the areas it can feel quite um quite a scary thing to do locally you know and it does take a bit of getting used to uh i mean I guess it costs a bit of money to do this, and I know you've received some funding, but uh, yeah. you've also set up a, a crowdfunding uh, uh, project, haven't you, to try and help you in this. How would people sign up on that? Yes, um, that's right. Yeah, it is costly in terms of the initial fleet and sort of hopefully sprucing up the hub. So uh, to help with that, we have uh, enlisted on a crowdfunding. We've been very fortunate. Um, we've had the backing of uh, a, Viva, a project, uh, a sort of crowdfunding project that Aviva have set up for their employees to donate to. Um, you can uh, find us if you go to uh, Aviva Community Projects, uh, look up the Family Bike Club um, and you'll find us there. And we've now had the added bonus whereby we've been supported by an additional fund, which is matching any sort of uh, pledges um, so long as we hit our target, so that so any sort of public pledges are now doubled in effect. So it's, that's been really helpful. So I mean, finally, I mean, if anybody wanted to contact you and offer help or support or find out more about what you're doing, where would they go? Um, so you can go to our website, thefamilybikeclub.com. Um, we've got, also got Facebook, Twitter pages. Just uh, find the contact form on our website. Probably the easiest thing get in touch and yes you know alongside sort of any pledges we're absolutely really looking for volunteer any volunteers that want to get involved um it's going to be a volunteer-led uh project and we'd love it to uh, you know we want it to be that way in terms of people from the community coming together and sort of hopefully sharing in the success of it and enjoying the process that's what we want to do OK, well, thank you for joining us and, and telling us about it, because it's a fantastic initiative and I think it will help a lot of people. So we'll get that this, this uh, sort of interview out so people can find out more about what you're doing. And hopefully people will help you and join in because it's something that I think is, you know, really needed. And I think it will help families a great deal. So thanks for joining us, Luke. And uh, we'll finish this interview now.
Thank you.